Thanks for joining us once again. After seeing this photo with a uniformed Pepsi employee that was somehow working on either tires or charging the semi, you know, behind cones, I was a bit surprised. The reason is that over the past five years, usually the only people that are allowed to get near this semi are typically Tesla engineers. So I saw this and sort of was wondering, well, what's going on here? Has Tesla actually left a group of semis at uh, the Pepsi facility for them to manage and, you know, doing so as a regular customer rather than simply having test vehicles there that are being uh, followed in a chase Tesla by Tesla engineers? The answer we're coming up with is that absolutely uh, a group of uh, of Pepsi uh, repair folks have been trained on tires charging and a number of other activities surrounding the truck and they're actually on a day-to-day -day basis running a group of trucks. How big is that group? Well, from photos we've seen, our assessment is that group is somewhere between three and four trucks that are sort of in the small fleet that Pepsi has been working with for at least the last six months, but maybe as long as the last eight months. So I actually think this is terrific news and it allows the process of getting these vehicles to fleets and generating the kind of data you need to answer questions that might be posed by other fleets to actually happen. This is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Thanks once again for joining us. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a repeat visitor, welcome back. We also want to thank our Patreon supporters. If you're going to enjoy the show and like more info on investing and trading in Tesla and other uh, companies worth your time, please join us on Patreon. So the big question that's coming up is, well, wait a second. If the truck has already been delivered and there are a number of copies that are being utilized internally by Pepsi at this facility, then what's up with the December 1st? And, you know, how come we're sort of delaying for the official start to start then? Well, the answer we were coming with from some of our friends at Tesla is that it's sort of a PR move as a way to sort of have a fanfare introduction rather than the actual introduction when it actually happened. So another sort of interesting point on this that we are wondering about is, well, wait a second, are the vehicles that are currently being utilized uh, by Pepsi um, delivered and ready to go? Well, the answer turns out is that if there are instruments that are still inside the truck that are measuring performance as part of the process of testing vehicles, this vehicle would be labeled, or these vehicles would be labeled as what, what are called beta test vehicles. As soon as all the instruments are removed, there, Tesla has the option of transitioning from beta to delivered vehicles. So it's entirely possible then that the vehicles we're seeing that are being utilized by Pepsi um, are actually, you know, currently betas, but um, may or may not more likely will simply be uh, converted into delivered vehicles once all the, um, you know, testing equipment is removed. So um, a bunch of questions are emerging, like how many of these uh, vehicles will be added uh, to the beta group um, for the December 1 start. You know, my expectation is that um, Tesla has been very tight-lipped about what's going on with the vehicle. Uh, I expect that we're gonna have, much like when the truck was first introduced, Elon with a number of other executives from Tesla 
and Pepsi sort of, you know, talking about the ambitions that everybody has for these vehicles, looking forward to growth. But um, Tesla and Elon seem very tight-lipped on what's going on with the semi as a way to reduce sort of the competitive threat, but at the same time be able to serve customers. Um, the other nice thing about us moving from beta test vehicles here over to delivered vehicles is that once we have data from what those trucks are doing and that data is shared with other semi customers, those customers can leverage that data in their ownership process. So in general, I think that it's great that, you know, the relationship with Pepsi is going well. The trucks aren't broken down and, and having big problems as they're being put in service. Um, it's a, I think, a win-win from every direction. Um, I'd have to say I'm a bit surprised that given the semis already had an introduction, they simply didn't just put them into service and skip the delivery date because Elon has been very secretive about the semi. And other than seeing all these photos that we've seen over time and listening to a truck going by people on the freeway, Tesla seems inclined to sort of keep the information restricted to little to nothing. So um, obviously the question is why we were told that it's a competitive situation. The goal right now is to push out a large number of these vehicles to current customers and have them in operation and reduce the ability of competitors to sort of get in, acquire uh, one or two copies and work on reverse engineering and then responding to the Tesla threat that comes with these vehicles arriving. So in general, I think that uh, it's thrilling to finally have the semi here and uh, it'll be interesting as this thing gets going to find out what the big delay was because you can't take tell much from external in terms of the changes year over year. But we do know that uh, Elon is a real perfectionista and has been reluctant to reveal anything about the trucks that might help others in shortening the time to sort of replicating the solution that Tesla has. So I guess the only other thing that I'm really surprised by on this whole thing is what's going on with Daimler and some of the other competitors and the fact that they seem to be sort of introducing products and introducing, you know, live customer vehicles somewhat maybe a few months behind Tesla, even though they could work on their own timelines to deliver if they chose to. Uh, the feeling one gets is perhaps their stuff really doesn't work that well and they're waiting for their opportunity to get a look at what Tesla's doing so that can be um, reverse engineered and delivered as their own solution to those customers.